Never a good sign when you got stuff laying on the floor. It's for the Sherp. Hello everyone. Dan here from Sherp ET. Hey, unfortunately I have to talk to you about some of the things that happen when you do own a Sherp as things do happen to break and quickly talk to you about one of the things that recently happened. Um, I came outside here uh, Oh, a couple of days ago here and it was about 40 degrees outside I still have summer fuel in and what the heck you know I'll try to see how everything works I come back in the back here and uh, turn on the Wabasco heater and when you do that you I'll try to show you real quick um, a little light green light goes on so I walked away and um, started doing whatever I was doing came back in about a half an hour and that little green light that we just saw was blinking blinking erratically so it was blinking three times and then seven in a row. Did a little bit of internet search and it said on the internet that it was probably because of low voltage. Hmm. So I went back again and then I came over to the vehicle and started her up. And when I started it up, I noticed that the voltage was only going up to about 10 volts. Volts. <laughs> So obviously there was problems. So I called the dealer and talked to him about it, and they said that there was some issues with uh, one of the cables going to the voltage or the alternator uh, breaking. So I got everything taken apart. Um, I'll plop up in the front here, but maybe you can see. Alrighty, back in the front of the unit again sitting from the passenger side right now so just set this light down right here right here is the culprit so that broke off right there and that's why it was not charging the batteries so I got a new one coming they're gonna overnight it to me the challenge is as you can see down here to figure out where all these damn wires go to so i'm gonna have to take off all those wire ties but i do believe that i have to put it right inside of that box not one. so the batteries here are located below the driver's seat um, it's got two different batteries in the inside of them um, i do believe that they're agm batteries um, so it should last fairly long. Uh, unfortunately, we did drain those batteries because that alternator was not working. And I put a charger on those batteries, or one of them anyhow. Um, that's been going about a day so far. We're going to let that get all the way charged up. And then we got the other one. Um, again, we got that other alternator cable coming. Uh, as soon as that thing gets here, we'll switch this out and I can get this thing back together again. Just taking a look while I do have everything off. Down here on the bottom, right here is the main fuse box. Uh, what else do we got? Right here, this little valve right there. If I shut that off, that in the summer, you can shut that off and then the heat will not go into this heater core uh, that's right here. And again, that blows out right in the front here driver is at an advantage or a disadvantage depending if they're hot. Uh, starter is fairly easy to get to is right there. Uh, the oil filter is right there. The black one. Uh, we did a little bit of modification during the first oil change so you actually take the oil out right here. I have a little contraption that was uh, built. You put another hose on the inside of this and it's got a small little pump and then you suck all the oil out of here. And that's about all there is to it. Again, I do have on the winter fan right now. So it is sucking the air into the engine compartment, heating it up. It does have a little bit of dirt and such in here. I don't know how the heck we're going to clean that out. We'll figure that out as time goes along. And that's about it. Um, I'll post another video, too, of me getting that uh, wire back on again. You know, while I'm at it, just to show you all the different things that you need to take off of that thing to get through there. So, 
all the different covers uh, on the outside. And again, these things right here are made out of Kodura <laughs> fabric. This stuff is absolutely incredible. Uh, there's one of the panels. We had to take both seats out. There's the other panel that goes in the middle. And that's about it. Hope to be on the road here fairly soon. Take care. Thanks.